Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. What is going on with you, NRA, NRA TV, man? I think that's the big thing, everyone. Let's just jump into it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's your status, yo? <laughs> My, the status is the status. Um, NRA TV as of now is done, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm no, no longer doing any shows through NRA TV. Mm -hmm. uh, but with me, I just, I keep trugging along. I never, I don't, I, my, my foot stays on the gas pedal. Right. So that's, that's pretty much the long and short of it. Yeah, you were you were working before this. So now you are. Um, I think we all know. But you can tell me if I'm incorrect here. But you're you're an employee of Ackerman McQueen, not NRA, right? So the work I was doing with NRA was through Ackerman McQueen. They were the agency on record for the NRA. Okay. Um, they thus had a, they thus had a falling out, and as a result of that, um, as you saw, NRA TV went down. So now things are just kind of up in the air in limbo. Okay, so what's your uh, what's your relationship with the NRA? Are you commu in communication with anyone at the NRA? Not in particular, no. I haven't no. had anyone reach out to me or, or speak to me. Okay, and all uh, how long has that been? It's been a little bit. <laughs> really? Okay. I, 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 yeah, yeah, it's been a minute. So, um, like, people I, I in the NRA probably, you thought you were cool uh, with or something, someone would at least like say, "Yo, what's up with you, man? How you doing?" I think there's a lot. The hell. I think there's a okay. Sorry, I think there's a lot going on right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's a lot in the way of distraction. So for me, I the way I would like I said what I do, my foot stays on the pedal. So mm -hmm. whenever the whenever the dust settles, we'll see how it looks and we'll see we'll see what goes. Right. Okay. So what about Ackerman McQueen? Are you in communication with them? My relationship with them is strictly basically NRA TV. Okay. So since that's no, yeah. So since NRA TV is kaputs. It, right. it is what it is yeah so what's up with you man are you just like lonely right now is anyone talking to you are you do you feel like the like the redheaded stepchild of the second <laughs> amendment movement what I, the hell <laughs> i'm a proverbial lone wolf i've always mm -hmm. kind of been that way okay. uh so for me it's it it's it's a non-starter to be honest with you like i I've, I've, I've taken this platform that i have that i've had for over 12 years now mm -hmm. and i continue to just move it forward um, whoever wants to attach themselves to it, you know, mm -hmm. so be it, we can have that conversation. But mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, uh, my passion lies with this, with the movement, um, with right. the second amendment, that's, that's where it exists and that's where it will always stay. So I'll keep moving forward with that. For me, there's, there's no bad blood between me and anyone or any organization at all. Um, everything is copacetic on my end. So with me, I just continue to move forward. Okay. All right. Good, good. So, um, I don't know how we're like, I'm trying to figure out where we should start with this to uh, to really go back, because I think there's there, folks out there feel like with um, with the whole breakup that's going on with the NRA, all the drama and everything that's happening recently. I'm going to take it back to it really started breaking maybe two weeks or something like that before NRA show. Mm -hmm. um, how did that all unfold for you? Because. You know, there's there's lots of folks out there who think that you are in the know of everything that's going on there. So, Man, did, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. uh, I answer a lot of questions that people like to ask me when I tell them that I don't know. They don't believe me. Right. I all of the information, all of the information. What? Somebody said close my windows. Uh, all of, I'm why I have the live up on this side up here. Yeah. Um, yeah, if all you do have some stuff open, maybe, uh, you know, maybe you can close it. I don't know if it's going to work. I think for anyone who's mean? seeing all the, the, yeah, like if you have stuff open, if you can minimize uh, them, maybe minimize them would help. Let's uh, see here. Because I do have, I do have a, a quadrillion windows open at one time usually. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, yeah. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's get out of Spotify. Let's yeah. get out of Evernote. Yeah. Let's get out of. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, dude. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, my, 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 if you want to, if you want a deep insight into how my brain works, just look at my computer at any given moment. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Oh, I believe it. I believe it, man. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff going on all the time. So. All right. So I closed yeah. out of pretty much everything. Okay. Yeah, it still may take a couple of minutes for everyone to catch up. Yeah. Gotcha. By the way, for everyone who's out there joining us, smash the thumbs ups if you can. We appreciate it. While well, we got a little break going on here, smash the thumbs ups. Uh, you know what? If you if you don't like us, you can do the thumbs down. Either one doesn't matter. You know, it's all good. Um, and then we'll try we'll try to get 
as many things in here as we can in the time. Are you still closing windows? Yes. <laughs> you thought I was joking? <laughs> someone says it's the someone says it's the porn. <laughs> It's the porn, not on this computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got a special <laughs> computer for that? Do you have a boy? If Should anything happen to you? Do you have assigned people to go in and clear <laughs> and clear out all your cookies? <laughs> Man, yeah, I, 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 I don't have anybody. I don't, I don't have anybody to answer to, so the cookies stay open. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay, well, you know, we might find out some things. But you won't be, you won't be here, so it's not going to matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it won't matter. All right, let's see. We'll try. We'll try to get this now. I can't. I don't. What was I asking you? I think I was asking you about. You know, the folks out there have a, like an idea of what's going on. So I was trying to get from you how this whole thing mm -hmm. unfolded. You, I think you were saying that people think you're in the know when you're not yeah. necessarily in the know. You're just out there doing a job, right? I, pretty much for the most part. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of a, a head down all. All full steam ahead kind of guy, mm -hmm. and now there's so many so many moving parts that I have going on in my life right now in terms of what I do that it it's I get kind of pull me out to get me to focus on other stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. People have to talk talk me into like going out and stuff like that. But for the most part, all of the information that I gather regarding this whole dynamic going on with the NRA, honestly, is born from the same articles that everybody else has access to. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the stuff I'm finding out as the articles are being as the articles are being released. So uh, I learned about NRA TV going down by way of an article. Mm -hmm. So for me, so I'm pretty much in the same position as just about everybody else. Yeah. I'm incredibly hopeful. Every, like when the dust settles, I think everything, I think, you know, think we'll, everything will be on the up and up and we can get back on track and do what we need to be doing for this right. Um, but right now, that things are pretty much in a limbo. Okay. Are you bound by any NDAs or anything like that? Nope. Nope. Okay.